Hi everyone, so I am doing a declutter series. I'm slowly going through my collection still. Not too long ago, I went through my collection of eyeshadows and I am doing a using all my eyeshadow series because I have so many eyeshadows I haven't used, I wanna play with, just to see if I wanna keep them. This is I think the first palette declutter I've ever done officially on my YouTube channel. I have given palettes away previously, but I've never really talked about it. This time I did go through my collection and really try and um, make some room for other palettes that I've purchased. And it's not a big palette declutter. I've got seven sitting with me here. For various reasons, I am decluttering these because they no longer fill a or serve a purpose in my collection. Let's start off with the one that I've already decluttered and I've already given to my cousin. Um, this is the Emily Noel Makeup Revolution palette. I've used it a couple of times. You would have seen it in my um, ranking all my palettes that I purchased in 2018 video. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the cards. But basically, I rated that one pretty low because all the looks that I did with it, they just did not sit on my eyes very well. The colors are nice, but they just don't last on my oily eyelids. I'm not super impressed with the formula, to be honest. I've got plenty other formulas in my collection that work so much better, so I don't want to keep around a palette that doesn't perform as well as others if I've got better formulas. So I've given that one away already and I'm, I'm hoping that she likes it. The next one I want to talk about is the Colourpop, um, the Yes Please palette. And this is the one that is pretty much a dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. And I have decided to let this one go because honestly, I've used it a handful of times and I just, I've got the Sunset palette already so I don't really need to keep this one around. I think the Colourpop formula is, is great but because I've already got that palette, I don't need two palettes that, that do the same thing on my eyes. So I'm getting rid of this one. I feel like I picked this one up because there was so much hype around it and I really wanted to see how comparable it was to the actual Natasha Nona Sunset palette. And while there are definitely shades in here that are pretty much the same, there are textures in the Natasha Nona eyeshadow palette that I'd much prefer. So letting go of this one. The next one is the Melt 27 palette. I also rated this one pretty low just because I feel like this is kind of a one trick pony and the shadows are super, super fragile. So I'm very careful with bringing this one out of my collection. It's already pretty messy. Some people have said that they love this palette, but unfortunately for me, it doesn't do anything special on my eyelids. Um, when I want to go for kind of warm toned brownie, orangey shades, I go for my Vizia Warm Mattes palette. That's the palette that I, I love and the formula is just great for me. I know I can rely on this, so I always use this palette. I don't really need this one. This was definitely purchased as a consolation prize for when I couldn't get my hands on the Gemini palette. And I do kind of regret purchasing this because honestly, these aren't shades that I'd, I'd wear really. Um, and I'm not super impressed with the formula in here. So this one is gonna be decluttered. Okay, next one is one I actually purchased, I think overseas. I think I purchased this in New York. Yes, September 2016. That's when I was in New York with my sister. I think I purchased this in Ulta. And I have no idea why I purchased this. I feel like this was definitely an impulse purchase. I was like, Lorac. We don't have Lorac in Australia. Um, and Lorac is pretty much a brand that is inaccessible here, unless you go through like Amazon or something. But basically these are shades that are just a little bit too basic for me and they're very cool toned and I'm not always into these kind of cool toned shades. So honestly, I really haven't played with this very much and I feel like it's sitting in my drawer taking up space because I don't use it. Um, because they're just not the kind of nudes or neutrals or whatever kind of browns that I like. The undertones just don't work for me that well. So getting rid of this one, we've got the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. I have done a Project 10 Wears on this ages ago and I just feel like, first of all, Kat Von D eyeshadows whether or not you're, you know, pushing aside the drama, I'm not a fan of her formula. I don't think it's that great. And I definitely feel like over time, these shadows aren't performing as well as they once did, even though when they were performing as well as they once did, they, I just didn't like them that much anyway. So I would not purchase any more of her palettes again based on her formula and also because of the other reasons that... I'm sure you know. And this honestly is a massive palette. It's taking up a really large space in my drawer. 
which I just don't need it. I, I hate palettes that are this massive. It's just so off-putting. I never reach for palettes when they're this big. The shades as well, they're really, really cool toned, kind of swampy shades. The color story as well, it's just, it doesn't do it for me. I do like the fact that it's got a even amount of, well, not an even amount, but they've got a nice variety of shimmers and mattes. That's the one positive thing I can say about this. And also the palette design is pretty cool. I'll give her that. Sixth palette I'm getting rid of, and I contemplated this one for a long time. I kept this around because I liked the theme and I liked the look of the palette, but honestly, I, I never use it. This is the Galaxy Chic palette from BH Cosmetics. It looks really cool because like each pan is supposed to represent a planet or a star or something like that. Like you've got Earth, it looks like Earth. You've got Jupiter. Oh, I, just, I just think that the design is so cool, but I never reach for it. So there are certain types of eyeshadow pans that when I look at it, for some reason I just don't want to use it and I'm not drawn to use it and that's when they're kind of like baked and round like that. On the flip side, when you've got a palette that has like the quartz type of texture, it really draws me in. But for some reason this doesn't and I mean they're both quite deep in the pan but there's something about the way that it's designed that doesn't draw me to this palette. Um, even though it's a really cool design, I like the concept, I never ever use this palette. I think I've used it three or four times since I purchased it, which is really dismal. It's nothing about the quality. It's a weird aesthetic thing. And yeah, I, I'm not a big, big fan of all shimmer palettes. I prefer an all matte palette or a mix of shimmers and mattes, but never really an all shimmer palette. Yeah, all shimmer palettes I'm just not into, so I'm also gonna say goodbye to this one. Now, last palette, and this is one that, um, I've got a lot of, palettes from this brand, but that is the Nubian by Juvia's Place. It's a pretty basic palette, um, and because it's basic, because I feel like I've got a lot of these shades already, I'm gonna move this one along. I never reach for this one. When I'm reaching for a Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette, I'm reaching for one of their colorful palettes. I'm reaching for, um, you know, the Saharan palette or the Masquerade palette, not this palette. This is just too many browns and bronze and coppers for me. If I didn't have these shades already, I'd be happy to have it, but I've got so many palettes with similar shades in here. So this is kind of like redundant in my collection. And I don't, again, I don't want to keep palettes that are doing sort of the same thing. So yeah, those are all the palettes I'm getting rid of. Six here, and then the seventh that I've already given away. I'm not one of those people that declutters like 50% of my collection. I know it's not the biggest number, but when it comes to decluttering, I'm not a big numbers person, let's be honest. Palettes, it's hard for me because I love eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks, those are my two weaknesses. <laughs> um, but you know, I feel like it's definitely time to, to move these along because I don't want to create more storage for more palettes. I'm happy with the amount of storage I have and I want to keep it that that. And if it ever gets to a point where it's overflowing, that's when I know I need to start thinking about getting rid of palettes. So yeah, these are ones I'm just not using that don't get any love, that don't spark joy, that are duplicates in my collection, which is why I'm getting rid of them. And it feels good. It definitely, it feels good to let go of things. So I'm happy I did it, even though the number wasn't a very big number, but it is how it is with me. Let me know if you've decluttered any of these palettes or do you like them? Rest assured, they'll pretty much all go to a good home unless they're expired. Anyway, I've got more declutters to come, um, slowly but surely. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.